What is up YouTube? My name is Thomas. Today we're going to talk about how cryotherapy helps with pain relief. And uh, just to lay it out real quick, there's three different ways it does this. Uh, number one is this hormone called norepinephrine. Number two is plain and simple, the cold. And number three is vasoconstriction. We're going to kind of go into each one of them as we go. But first off, real quick, I have a lot of people that come in for, uh, for pain relief. Uh, I'd say pain relief and inflammation would be the top two things that are, are most common and I see the best results for. Um, I've mentioned inflammation on some other videos, but I have people specifically who come in and I ask them beforehand. I always try to ask people where they're sore, if it's their shoulders, if it's their back, wherever it is, and to take note of this pain before they actually get into the chamber. Because I mean, like, uh, you know, some examples would be I got a guy that uh, he snowboards a lot and he's always coming in super sore. He's been working out his entire life. Um, and so his body just doesn't, just doesn't work as well as he used to. Uh, you know, even though running and lifting and things like that, those things are good for you, they also take a toll on you at the same time. You know, they're not good for your joints, for example. Every single sport eventually, you know, puts a, 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 a wear and tear on a part of your body. And so pain relief, uh, it's huge for this. Going into the three things I mentioned, starting with the simplest one, I'm going to talk about just the cold. Uh, of course, it's, it's pretty basic, pretty standard stuff, but you know, simple cold uh, puts a damper on your nerves. They just, they don't function as quickly, they can't fire as quickly, and it's just going to feel, you know, less painful because of that. That's not as significant as the other two, which is why I wanted to start with that, but that's number one. Number two is going to be vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction is called, or is caused, by the hormone norepinephrine, which is gonna be number three. Uh, but vasoconstriction basically is the act of the blood being pulled from your extremities to your core. Um, this helps with pain relief be for two things, really one thing, but two things. Uh, and those two things are white blood cells and the chemicals that white blood cells release. Uh, see, um, uh, white blood cells release chemicals that cause pain. Uh, they're the thing that wants, that helps with, you know, keeping you, deterring you from using a certain muscle or a certain area that's injured because it doesn't want you to use it. Now, like, obviously, like, something can be fine and actually able to be used and just hurt regardless just because there's a lot of swelling or a lot of inflammation in that area because it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, and so it's going to pull the white blood cells and those chemicals from that area of pain to your core, you still gotta be mindful of it. It's probably not gonna be perfect, but it'll hurt a whole lot less, and sometimes that's all you need. And we can go into inflammation and stuff like that in another video, but trust me, like that stuff, you know, it's, it's good stuff. Like too much inflammation is certainly a bad thing. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next thing, the last thing uh, is norepinephrine. Norepinephrine not only causes vasoconstriction, norepinephrine is also though a potent painkiller. It's actually injected in people's backs by doctors, pres prescription injected into people to help with pain relief. And this is allowing you the opportunity to have it released naturally in your body in anywhere from three to five times the amount that is normal. Uh, and if this effect is consistent. This effect happens every single time because it is a fight or flight response to the cold. If your body didn't release this norepinephrine, then your metabolism wouldn't kick on and vasoconstriction wouldn't happen. And if vasoconstriction didn't happen, then the blood wouldn't get pulled from your extremities and go to your core and your blood goes to your core to keep you alive. That's why frostbite happens. It'll sacrifice your fingers, your toes, it'll sacrifice the outsides of your ears because those things simply are not as important as your lungs, your heart, you know, and the internal workings of your body. You can keep going without a finger. You cannot keep going without a heart. You know what I mean? So it's just, uh, you gotta make sacrifices, basically. Um, so every single time, those three things, it's huge. Uh, when you do it for yourself, you'll see what I'm saying. Even if you're not in pain, the norepinephrine will leave you feeling super, super awake, super energetic, because it is, uh, it's also a feel-good hormone. Isn't norepinephrine just great? And uh, just real quick, just so you guys don't know, this is a gym cryotherapy area. We got a badminton court placed down, uh, down the street, and also really cool is the fact that we have full tennis courts out here. It's just crazy. Um, really love this place because I can just work out whenever I want to and stuff like that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more good stuff to read, check out, yada yada, please check out the description below. We've got links and information going to other places. Please also, if you're feeling, you know, generous, drop a like on this video, maybe even subscribe if you want to hear more cool stuff about cryotherapy, health and wellness. We're going to be putting out more content. Till next time guys, take care. Peace.